recording at uh, FOSS Backstage, and I have with me some of the crew from the Open Diversity Project. Is that, is that correct? The Open Source Diversity Open Source Diversity Project. Also yeah. Open Diversity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little bit about that project. I, I've, I've gone through the website a bit, but uh, I'm still a newcomer to the organization. So if you could uh, you know, introduce yourself to Tell us what role you play there and, and what your organization is, is working to achieve. Um, I, I'm Charlie. I work for Wikimedia Germany um, in my working time, um, where I'm a UX designer. And uh, two years ago, we um, we we started doing. Oh, we we did a hackathon, which back then was called Open Source Ladies, um, to help people from underrepresented groups uh, uh, join in open source communities and become active and contribute in whatever way they wanted to. So it didn't have to be code contributions, but just documentation or design or also things that, that are underrepresented in, in the typical open source community. And um, we had projects like Patilla, LibreOffice, and Nextcloud, uh, which Jan works for quite a bit too. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and this was this was uh, something that was happening at the same time as uh, Jan uh, thought of doing open source diversity. And maybe yeah. you want to talk about how that started for you. Yeah. So I'm Jan. I work on uh, Nextcloud as a designer, and just like Camilla, uh, with some desktop client uh, and programming. And so. Um, yeah, last year uh, in, at, the, at the Nextcloud conference, actually, um, we, had a, we had a meeting uh, with, uh, with uh, three other people who were also doing it. They actually had uh, a website called Open Diversity. So, um, uh, yeah, they, they have been different names, Open Source Ladies. It even was called uh, Ladies at Foss before. So there's like plenty of plenty of different names. And we also do free software. So <laughs> it's all like a big naming and inclusion also. So. Um, but there we basically uh, had these two groups, we had met, um, two people who were doing like what they called open source diversity and then two people uh, who were doing open diversity. So we just uh, thought we would merge it um, and then we, we started with this website and um, then in parallel basically or even earlier there was this uh, open source ladies um, meetup which was first a hackathon and uh, then eventually like two weeks ago or three weeks ago we uh, joined that up also so that's now open source diversity Berlin meetup. And uh, yeah, and there's also other groups, uh, for example, um, Diversifying Open Source. Uh, it's a meetup group in Bangalore, in India. And, um, and there's uh, also um, um, Emma Irwin at Mozilla, who organizes uh, some diversity and inclusion calls, like the regular monthly calls with uh, different topics and different, so to say, speakers um, talking about the experience. And so that's, and, and there's, yeah, multiple other initiatives um, in the whole thing. And it's kind of intended as a, as a hub, as a kind of a group into a collective to bring it all together. And the meetup is kind of like a come to life version of it in a way. So like, a, so a place where people can, can uh, open source projects can uh, look for uh, new contributors and also um, change it, exchange on like how to diversify a project and what steps you can take. But also for people who just want to contribute and want to have like. Uh, the entry barrier maybe online is too high for them, um, or they experienced unfavorable behavior in the past. So this is like a way, uh, an easier way for them to get involved and just contribute in general. Uh, we get talk today, right, um, about the organization, and I think one motivation for us to have it is that while twenty one percent of people and open source projects they end up leaving if they face, if they experience themselves some kind of rudeness or well, unwelcome language. Uh, and this affects, of course, mostly uh, minorities. So what we, I think we all want to create is a safe place where people can look for help to get started in open source. And I was at the first uh, ha hackathon that we had. So we had a whole day where we were helping people to uh, contribute to open source. Like in my, in my case, I was helping already with Nextcloud. To, um, because I'm a software engineer at Nextcloud, so I was helping them to, in that day, remember we work on the website actually for Nextcloud. Um, and our idea is that we can create more of these meetups and hackathons where we invite diverse 
um, different um, organizations and projects where they can bring mentors and people who can help people to get started on the project. And yeah, so we aim at get a diverse group there on these um, meetups and hackathons and get hacking days. And the, uh, the talk that you gave earlier today was videoed, I believe. So yeah. I, mm -hmm. I'll also link to that video yeah. uh, when I post what we're recording now for the people that were not at that talk. You know, for, for some of us, um, it's, it's very obvious, it's self-evident why we would want to increase diversity in our projects. And for other people, they're having trouble seeing this. Can, can you, can you uh, describe what the benefits to a project are in increasing diversity? So, for example, yeah. one one very not even uh, only limited to open source uh, um, fact, so to say, is uh, that there's like, different studies by uh, Harvard Business Review and Stanford and, and uh, McKinsey, um, like analyst firms, uh, who uh, found out that uh, diversity uh, makes team more innovative and actually increases the financial bottom line. So, so very very. Um, I mean, sure, open source, uh, like for some people, open source and uh, capitalism or money doesn't mix, but in the end, it all needs to be sustainable. And so, um, yeah, that's a, that's a very simple um, uh, fact that, uh, that um, yeah, companies with, um, I'm not sure, like I don't remember the exact numbers, but with, for example, at least one woman on the board, uh, they have like X percent more, um, um, more return on investment, or their bottom line is, is to that point, there's a there's a great talk by um, uh, two folks from WordPress who have like a, a very specific, uh, very specific graphic, and uh, I think it refers to like 15 percent of, of in increase when you have gender diversity and 35 percent increase when you have racial diversity, or it's the other way around. I'm not sure, so maybe don't quote me on that. But <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, um, this this. This is a very, like, it's not even an anecdote or something, it's not only limited to open source. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, on the anecdote side, for example, for me personally, I mean, sure, I'm a, a white man, uh, so I don't have that many issues uh, with that or don't have that many barriers. But even for me, like, uh, for example, my first conference was uh, the Gnome conference, well, um, which uh, I perceived as very welcoming, and, and it increased even more through the years because they, for example, spearheaded things like outreach, like, used to be uh, called the Gnome Outreach Program for Women, and that just felt better in total in general because the language was most, much nicer, it, was, it, was, it just felt better. Um, it's, it's not super quantifiable in some aspects, but others are very quantifiable. So. I guess who is listening to it later can check out the talk, and the talk will image a bunch of uh, facts and numbers, and we also have these slides on the website, in the Open Source Diversity. Um, so the thing we mentioned also in the talk was about um, that so a diverse group, people care for different things and it's really important in a project to have a good documentation, good guidelines and people from minorities usually care more about that, which means they will probably then help to improve the documentation, the guidelines and the code of conduct and, and these things that so it creates this nice cycle of like, you know, if you have more documentation, you have yeah, more uh, diverse people in the project, and these people will also help with the documentation and so on. Um, yeah, so as uh, he pointed out, these are facts, and you can find this in, uh, in GitHub Open Source Survey. We have a lot of numbers there about uh, these contributions and uh, about diversity, diversity and diverse teams. So, looking at, at uh, your project website, I, I see that there's kind of two audiences here there's the contributor, and there's also projects. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the tools that you provide uh, for, for each of those audiences? Um, we don't provide the tools, but we're like, um, we just try to connect everything that is already out there and uh, make it easier for projects or people who want to contribute to uh, find a way to um, either get involved or get people involved. And for example, for conferences like this, um, if you're the person organizing the conference, there's something like speakerland.org, where... Well, I was just signing up for that for my, for my next event, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, where you can um, find women who, who you can uh, contact to speak at your conference. Uh, I guess in the case of uh, who is, wants to uh, get started, yeah. Yeah, who wants to get started in yeah. the project, 
So in website you can in our website you can find links to um, uh, up for grabs. It's like where you can look for projects that have uh, big uh, issues for startups and mm-hmm. starting. Uh, also for pro- we starting to program or in the project. Um, and then there is also like your first PR project. So yeah, so you have links there in our website. So it's like kind of a directory with information mm-hmm. on how you can move on now to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I meant to say is that um, like uh, maybe if not enough uh, diverse people fly to your conference, then you're like, yeah. oh, I guess someone wants to talk. But uh, sometimes the barrier is higher for people who've, um, who are underrepresented, so you can reach out to them instead. And the same goes for participants of the conference because they can shape how the conference goes a lot as well. So uh, you can offer discounted tickets or um, free tickets or maybe free accommodation on uh, diversity tickets, which will uh, help people who maybe also don't have the possibilities to afford to travel somewhere um, join and participate in the conference. Basically, all of these um, we we saw all of these different projects out there, and yeah. and um, so so the first iteration, so to say, of the website is mostly a hub to just point out this happens, this happens, this yeah. happens, because I think in general um, the, the open source community oftentimes, unfortunately, tends to kind of be like everyone makes their own thing, right? Because because it's yeah, everyone wants to get their name somewhere and whatever, um, and and. Um, the thing is, like, I also in the recent days I s- saw so many like um, like women conference directories or something uh, sprung up like in the, in the last month or, or months or weeks. Just the other day, there was someone uh, um, who started a, like a Google spreadsheet or something. And um, yeah, I mean, just like collaborate with with, with like Speakerin or other things. I mean, there's things out there already, and um, yeah. So so at the moment, we're not trying to. Build anything new per se, but like this, this, this common platform, and uh, we're also thinking, for example, about um, a discourse forum, for example, to, to communicate. Um, uh, yeah, because right now like, there's an IRC channel, but that's also um, not so accessible as I say. Um, and uh, yeah, just just very many different ways we're trying out to make, make things easier. Mm-hmm. And the start is yeah, indeed. I mean, uh, yeah, to have these tools, which are both. For the contributors and for the project owners. Yeah, I guess the main uh, concrete, concrete thing that you are creating is the meetups, right, that you have in Berlin and and creating these uh, hack days or hackathons for you know for inviting organizations and projects to join. But we would love other cities to yeah, um, exactly. pick up on this and have their own meetups and hackathons, and we'd love to support them if they need help in the beginning or like this is. A no, it's open source, so everyone is welcome to join, and uh, so so the community can become bigger and maybe becomes more uh, of a let's say um, baseline to have certain uh, guidelines and um, things instead of it being the, the extra effort that some projects take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, I mean studies show that not only will it, will it obviously benefit the open source projects, but um, people who contribute to open source kind of manage to build reputation by doing this and gain loads of expertise and uh, this will help them get a job later in the tech sector and so this will also diversify the tech sector in general and not just open source projects, which is what we need one to. Yeah, for example, there's like different initiatives like diversity in tech, like, you know, women in tech, uh, Google Women Tech Makers, I think, or, or Black Rose Code or like very different initiatives, and the thing is that, that we're trying to kind of, um, yeah, take it at the source, so to say, because because the, yeah, half of people in this GitHub open source survey say that their uh, open source contributions were important to their current job or in getting their current job. And yeah, that's half, so that's that's pretty insane. Uh, so if we if we can fix that at the source, or if we can prove it at the source, then we basically kind of um, yeah fix the funnel of. Jobs for in the STEM field maybe or, or open source. Um, so I mean not only STEM also design yeah, yeah. <laughs> or documentation or yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I would speak that for my own experience on how usually being the only female software engineer in a team and yes, I would love to have um, not only work with white men, <laughs> I would love to have some uh, different colleagues. So yes, it just creates much nicer environment and yeah, it's just much more fun to work. 
ways with different people and with different ideas and yeah, it's just nice and, and yeah, so I'm kind of getting tired a bit of it, but <laughs> no, being the only room, so yes, uh, that's why I also joined them, on initiative, I really want to see all the people. <laughs> And then I think another thing is, which kind of ties into that is when you're a more diverse team, then of course you're gonna kind of think about different things, and then your product is gonna be catering to a more diverse audience. So like more people yeah. translate to a bigger user base, and everyone wants to like have more users, I guess. <laughs> um, so so it's good to also diversify the team to yeah, think about different things and yeah. just reach more reach more people. We um you can check our web page and um, join our meetups if you can or organize yeah. your own and uh, yeah, watch the talk I guess for extra yes. other info. Then we are at meetup.com, we yeah. are diversity and open source diversity dot org the yeah. website. Or tweet us. Yes, <laughs> open source diversity right uh, yeah. on Twitter. Twitter or at OS diversity because yeah. Yeah. Name can't be that long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just look for open source diversity yeah. somewhere. And, and, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for and, inviting uh, us. Yeah. Best of luck in your in your endeavor. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> okay. Bye.